All right, day three, Peacock Park. Uh, installed Mission Planner. I actually added up uh, five waypoints and a landing uh, from my home. Uh, and I went to this address here based on Google Maps. So we're gonna see how that does. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the system, set it up. Looks like it's sprinkling, sprinkling a little bit, so this might be a very, very quick <laughs> test. Uh, I don't wanna, definitely don't wanna wet anything. Oh, where's my little, it's in there somewhere. There it is. My little emergency backup beeper alarm. This one actually saved me the other day. I was flying too long and my, um, my, uh, well, my failsafe was set extremely too low. It was set to 10.5 where the uh, battery went way too low and it didn't give time to recover. Oh, come on. I'm still feeling drops. No rain today. I want to test this, damn it. Okay, let me quickly bind this. All right, now let's give it a second to find the satellites. While I tuck these cables in nice and neat. And once it finds the satellites, I'll take it off the box and go from there. All right, we got some blinks. I found the satellites. All right, I'm gonna take off on the floor because I don't want this to rub on the side of the box on the way up. So, oh, the camera doesn't like that spot. Come on, I'm trying my best here. Relax. Here, let's go back here a little bit. See if the camera likes that spot. No, it doesn't like it either. Oh well. Screw it. Let's get brave and take off from here pretty hard. Alright. Turn the camera on. Hit record. All right, unlock the motors. There's the unlocked. And I'm gonna try to take off from a little box. Don't know if that's too smart or safe, but let's see. All right. All right, throttle lock right here. I mean, altitude hold. I'm gonna turn the camera down. Right there. All right, now, uh, let's cross our fingers and see what the waypoints do. Mission planner. Let's go 50% on the throttle. And turn my timer on. Mission planner on. Let's see what it does. Come on, not supposed to be that high. I set it to about 20 feet maximum. Okay, position one should be right about there. It should stop and start turning. It'll drop to about 10 feet. Now it's going to go to position two. And again, here's the control in my hand. I'm not doing absolutely anything. All right. And it should face. Now it'll rise a little bit. Go to position three. Position four is right in front of the diamond. And then position five should be right back to me where the takeoff is. Now I'm going to have to move that box. It's going to try to land on the box. Depending where I set up the GPS now. Okay. Find a position should be position five which is a little more around there somewhere or I don't know if I put it that far I guess I did put it that far oh well all right so let me take it off the waypoint landing put it back manual and shut it down all right I set it to one foot on the landing I should have just put land I don't remember what I did at the end hey what did you front flip <laughs> All right, it followed this somewhat. It was pretty accurate to what I put it on there. So I'm actually kind of happy there. Hey, Mr. Gimbal, you okay? <laughs> All right, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's go back here and unlock. Let's put my, um, hope that rain doesn't come down. Oh, well, it was actually successful. This was Mission Planner. I installed a couple of waypoints. Let me move my camera up out of the way I installed a couple of waypoints uh, last time I did the waypoint way too far it was like way over there so I had to stop it halfway so this one was nice um, the waypoint finished kind of early 
I had set it around here somewhere to st uh, start and finish, but I guess it uh it there on its own. And it's starting to sprinkle, so I might just call it since the test was pretty much successful. Um, the only thing I noticed is when it did land, it kind of stopped and the propellers were still moving. It didn't completely shut down. It could be my fault. Maybe I didn't send la I set land. I probably just set the last point, but I'll, I'll double check on that next time. Um, I don't know if I should keep flying or just call it a day. Let me do a quick flight. Now that it's not raining at this very second, so let's just do a quickie. All right, uh, unlock motors and quick flight. All right, I'm gonna throttle lock it. I'm gonna position hold right there. So I can adjust my camera. Camera down. All right. Let's do a little bit of a, it's kind of moving a little bit for a position hold. Huh. Must be pretty breezy, that breeze that's coming in. All right, I'm gonna take it off position hold and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little fast. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> All right, let me turn it around. Face it to me. Back and forward a little bit. All right, let me slow down. Back up, don't hit that tree now. Back up, turn around, and forward again. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna hit that full throttle. Hell no. <laughs> Man, that's fast. Okay. All right, yeah, rain's coming in hard. Let me let me bring it back. Let me just do a nice little soft landing here. I go backwards slowly. Let me bring her back over here. I'll test the um, fail safe another day when it's not raining, and I can let the battery fully drain. All right, I'm gonna lock it there and point my camera up for safety. All right, awesome. Let me bring it down. All right, cool. Let me lock my motors. And let's take it apart really fast before that rain starts coming down harder. I think we're good. I'm happy with the results. I think we did great. Um, it did exactly what I wanted to do, which was that initial test. So I'm gonna save the control and I'm gonna disconnect the power. And we're good to go. All right, I'm happy so far and we'll see the, uh, the next test. We'll go a little further, a little harder, a little higher.